Hi, welcome to Southeastern University's Master of Arts in Ministerial Leadership. I'm Dr. Alan Ehler. I get to be the Dean of the Barnett College of Ministry and Theology, and I'm also your instructor for the course, The Shape of Practical Theology. This course is a real kickoff to your graduate studies. Most of you haven't been to school for a while, and some of you, probably all of you, are a little bit intimidated about that. Grad school will be more work than your undergraduate experience. You're going to be reading like you've never read before. 1,200 to 1,500 pages per class. You'll be writing like never before, about 25 pages of refined research-based writing. It will be a lot of work. But I have found that over 98% of our students who graduate from this Southeastern's longest running graduate degree, they say it's worth it. It has an incredible impact on them. In fact, most don't want to stop when they get done. They ask, how can we go on to the doctor ministry degree? And we'd love to have you continue to do that, get your MDiv, whatever the case is. But you will find this is a practical program designed for people in ministry. And most of your assignments will be de deliberately, intentionally phrase so that you can put them into practice and you'll find your ministry being multiplied as you're thinking as you go deeper than ever before and and it's an incredible experience I, in my role, my primary role as dean, I get to oversee 24 of the leading full-time Pentecostal faculty in the world. We also have dozens of adjunct faculty, some who will get to work with you. You will get to know them in a big way. One person you're really going to get to know well is Dr. John Sperling. He has taken on this new initiative this year, what we call regional cohorts. Yours will be meeting most of the time in Palm Beach Gardens at Christ Fellowship. And I want to say a huge thank you to Dr. Todd and Julie Mullins, who will, who will be our host. In fact, Dr. Todd and his father, Dr. Tom, will be some of your instructors as you go down the way. And we're excited about this partnership. They served as an extension site for undergraduate students as well. In fact, we have over 150 undergraduate extension sites across the country training up ministers of the gospel. And uh, also, you will be working with coming together with Dr. Sperling for your first session with me and you'll have one of these live sessions every semester with a lot of work online before and after and I want to give you kind of some heads up for some things you can do before we get together there in Palm Beach Gardens and the first one is is to go to myfire.seu.edu our mascot is the fire perfect for a Pentecostal school the fire of the Holy Spirit something we we value and prize so think about that myfire.seu.edu when you log in with your password and your SEU email address, you will see a series of classes open up. You click on the box for Shape of Practical Theology. You probably already did that to get this video, but just in case, go there. And then on the left side, you'll see a box that says Content. Go down, you'll see Course Syllabus. Looks like this. It's a lot more pages, a lot of information in there. This is our contract as a university and me as a professor with you. You do what it says. We give you the grade we say we'll give you. Gives you instructions, what books to read, when to read them, what assignments to complete, how to do all the work, uh, recommended resources, things like that. This is the big deal. Also on my fire, you will find links to upload your assignments. We'll have you read some books and write some book reviews even before you get in here. And I'll give you some uh, topics on that, things to work with. Also something important is what we call a discussion forum. On that top line there, you will see the second box will say uh, activities and your assessments. You go under there and you will see discussions. Click on that and most weeks you will have a question from me that I will have you respond to. You will type out your response, less than 300 words, just like a paragraph or two, your thoughts about whatever I'm asking you. First one is, who are you? Why are you doing the master's degree? Help us get to know where you are, what you're doing. And then I want you to reply to at least two other students, but don't stop there. This is to be a conversation to replace what you would do if you were here in Lakeland taking classes with me every week. That way we get to know each other and share and process what we're reading and thinking about. So that's part of your assignment. As I said, you'll have other assignments. You'll have a big term paper we'll talk more about when I see you at Palm Beach Gardens. And also you'll have book reviews and you'll be reading several books. First book I uh, want you to read is a short little book called A Little Book for New Theologians. Great book by Kelly Capick, kind of thinking through what in the world does, do you have to worry about theology. A lot of you have incredibly successful ministries and you're saying, why in the world do I need a theological education? Kelly will tell you why and how it can inform your thinking. 
The second one, a little bit bigger, by Dr. Kim Keller. He's a longtime pastor of Redeemer Presbyterian Church in New York City, stepped away to immerse himself in the academy. And I have you read this book because it's very practical, but it's also very theological. What he calls theological vision is what we call in this class practical theology. How does what you think about God and believe about God and how he works and understand from scripture and leaders in your denomination and those through the ages affect how you decide to do what you do in ministry? Most people in ministry just go out and do whatever they saw other people doing or whatever the hottest, greatest thing is that they ever saw in some podcast or blog without thinking about why, why? How does God's work in the world partner with you and your ministry? That's what this class is about. So you'll begin to really dive deep as you do this. For each of these books, I'm going to have you write a very brief review on them. I want you to think through. What do you agree with? What do you disagree? What's the main point they're trying to say? How can you implement it in your ministry? So again, plan on being there with us, Palm Beach Gardens. Again, uh, I look forward to getting to know you and getting you launched in the best way possible as you start this journey. Yes, it will be a lot of work. Some students say, but how much time should I expect between your two classes? I would plan to budget 15 to 25 hours a week. Remember, it's got to come from someplace. But again, what I've heard over and over again is it's worth it. But tell your loved ones especially, and also your church staff, they may see less of you now, but our goal is these, these exercises, these assignments are going to be things you can put to practice directly in your ministry, and you will see a multiplication in the long term. Well, look forward to getting to know you. If I can do anything for you, don't hesitate to send me an email, A-J-E-H-L-E-R at seu.edu. Yes, a strange German last name, Ehler, but I'll answer to anything close. You want to give me a call? My mobile is area code 425-422-9902. Again, God bless. I'd love to pray for you before we dismiss. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for each of these students. Thank you, Lord, for calling them to Southeastern for this time and this season. And Lord, I pray that you would give them that sense and that assurance that you who have called them to this, you are able to enable them to complete it. And Lord, I pray that you would multiply their effectiveness. Would you guide them? Would you fill them with your Holy Spirit? Would you enable them to read and to write, to research, to understand like never before? Bless them with safe travel. And Lord, just an outpouring of your Spirit's joy and peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.